bus, easy. I expect my parents will pay for it. Like usual. Huh? You know they're really rich, right? They own that hotel in Paradise Sands. Oh, it all makes sense now. Anyway, Chase is going undercover. He'll need new clothes. Well, congratulations, Chase. <laughs> I was already under cover. Cool. Hey, that's quite the transformation. I barely recognize you. Yeah. Who's that strange man in the garage? Right. I'm off to figure out how to get into Chan's gang. I hope they've reopened the bridge to the main island. Good luck with that, Chase. That was Chase? All right, folks, welcome back to another one. We just finished up chapter four, and now we're on chapter five. We just started chapter five. We're on a special assignment Cherry Tree Hills. Let's get into it. Okay, all right, let's find a way to get into your gang, Mr. Chen. Now, let's get into the gang. Where's that? Maybe I don't have to drive. I'm not so far. I didn't see you there. Did I remember? Let's start his mission. Hey, Chase. Now you're an undercover detective. I've added a new function to your communicator. Is it a voice recorder? So I can do private eye style monologues? No. I was disappointed, but <laughs> I decided to hear the lady out. It's an audio scanner. You just point it at a window and you can hear what's being said inside the room. You'll need to get to a vantage point to use it, though. It sounded like it might be useful. I thanked the nice lady and set off into the night. It's the daytime. Good luck, Chase. I should get to somewhere I can listen out for clues. Makes sense. All right, let me do it. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. See what we can find. Look, I've told you already. If you want me to paint your portrait, you will have oh, to stay loud. still. Now, do you want? You're late for your interview. Where are you? Oh, you're meant to be at Chan's limo place. Get a move on. Can you believe that? That Bucky Butler guy. The one who wants to join the gang? Yeah. 
He was at the art gallery. Well, they do have an excellent collection of Cubist sculptures. What does Cubist mean? <laughs> Bucky Butler. Why is that name familiar? I love the level four. I busted that animal. guy like two years ago. Okay. If I get him out of the picture, then I can take his place at the job interview and join Chan's gang. I'm gonna stop on this slow, slow uh, taxi. Okay, I gotta. No, this ain't gonna work. Too slow. Sorry, it's that. an emergency. Entirely too slow. What is this? Multiply back up. What do you think of this one? Jesus. Mm. You know how they say a picture paints a thousand words? Yes. Well, they're going to have to invent about 999 new ones for rubbish for that. Look at this one. Isn't it weird how his eyes follow you around the room? That's his job. Goodbye, sir. I hope you enjoyed the gallery. Uh, yeah, thanks. I picked up this real nice print from the gift shop. Gosh, it looks just like the original. <laughs> it sure does. Well, see ya. <laughs> I didn't even know the gift shop sold prints. Hey, you. Stop. I know you. You're that cop from years ago. Whoa. Oh, way to tip off your target, Chase. I uh, just want to talk. Uh... Oh, wow. Who rolled? I don't catch him, though. Here. Stop, please. Come on. Oh, man, why do you keep arresting me? You were going to join Chan's gang. That ain't a criminal offense. Sheesh. I don't like to tell people how to do their own job, but if you're going to arrest me for anything, it should be for the painting I just stole, you fool. Huh? So 
Oh, sausages. Thanks, Bucky. Okay, I better get to my job interview. Let's go in here to this job interview. You're the new boy? Yes, sir! Oh, I was promised a thug. You look more respectable than I was hoping. Uh, well then, maybe you should get some glasses, old man. Ha <laughs> That's more like it! Okay, I need you to pick someone up. Oh, are they feeling sad? In a car! Obviously. The person is Forrest Blackwell. The multi-billionaire? That is correct. It won't be easy, though. Mr. Blackwell is constantly hounded by the paparazzi. They will try to follow you, and Mr. Blackwell will not like this. Got it. Not a problem, because I am awesome at driving. Good boy. Go pick him up at Blackwell Tower, and be polite. He's our only customer. So let's not wreck the limousine. We are made it Mr. to the Blackwell, destination. Are you still thinking about the scandal? Why won't you let anyone in your tower anymore? Is it true you prefer cats to dogs? Gentlemen, please, give Mr. Blackwell some privacy. He merely wishes to go somewhere mysterious for secretive reasons he doesn't want you to know about. One more question, sir. What, where are you going? Hey, where are you Forrest going? Blackwell, sir, you don't have leave me. It's my job. Where can I take you, sir? Very kind of you to ask, young man. I shall be attending one of the last ever performances of the Perpetual Inbox at the Gillespie Theatre. I trust you have been told of my aversion to the Yes, sir. I'll do my best to shake them off. I appreciate that this may require you to adopt a somewhat, shall we say, unorthodox driving style. It could get a little rough. Yep. I got oh, you do not worry on my account. I have ridden atop ships of the it desert. for me. Nothing can compare to the discomfort that inflicts upon one's posterior. Are you a 
Control of the arts yourself, young man. Well, I like that TV show with the monkey who solves what crimes. Even ah, a true connoisseur. So, uh, may I ask what the play you're seeing is about? Authority, regulations, bureaucracy, the usual concerns of petty individuals. Sounds like my old job. Ah, to have your plans thwarted by fools. But what can you do? You either ignore it and get on with your life. Or you go mad. <laughs> yes. Mad. Or you could sneak behind their backs and get your own way without them knowing. The third option. Don't tell anyone. But that's the one I favor. Me too. Well, I hope you enjoy the play anyway. Thank you. I suspect it'll be the last chance I get to see one in quite some time. I have rather a long trip coming up. Ouch! I feel like I played a mission like this before. Grand Theft Auto? Well, I think I just about survived that journey, driver. There's no need to wait. I shall be getting home by other means. Goodbye! Goodbye, sir. I'll come back and give you my insurance details later. That was admirable driving for Mr. Blackwell. Your complete lack of respect for traffic laws proves that you are an awful person and is to be commended. Thanks. I hate traffic laws. <laughs> yes. I sense you may be the sort of individual we are looking for. Have you ever stolen anything? I stole some pens. Oh, a thousand pens. From a child with a limp. Excellent! <laughs> then you are to be offered a promotion. Go to the alleyway to the left of the salvage yard in Pagoda. My employer will be anticipating your arrival there. He will explain the details. Let's go meet Mr. Chan. Whoa! Oh. Hey! Oh. That was not far away. Not that far away. About a promotion? You? You look like a cop. Well, I'm not. See? <laughs> Greetings, driver. You want to make some money? Stop that! I will fire you, prancing fools! What do you got in mind? Getaway driving? Not so fast. Careful driving? No! <laughs> First, you have to prove yourself. Here is a list of instructions. Follow them, and then report to my salvage yard. And don't get caught like those knuckleheads did! Sure thing, Mr. Chan. Please, call me sir. Why are you still here? Of 
Okay, so Chan wants me to recover a car from his rival while they're having a shindig. I guess that makes me a party pooper. Huh, I don't think I've ever pooped a party before. Again, it's somewhere close. You gotta get in trouble for that. Nah, they'll be fine. It ain't fair that we have to guard this place. Yeah. You know, we could sneak off to that other party by the hotel pool. Maybe. If they started playing some decent music and serve up some food. All right, we gotta help them out with that, man. There's meant to be a barbecue here. Serve up burnt food poisoning in a bucket without a barbecue. What day is it? So glad I moved to Lego City. Has anyone seen a barbecue around here? the grill here barbecue hey a barbecue and it's even clean i won't have to smother everything in ketchup to disguise the taste this time now i just need some stuff to cook on it i hope they manage yep. to just me need right? someone to get me some food Possibly get some food for me. Hint. I'm not supposed to find something to cook. Huh? There's maybe stalls over here. What's this? Dude, my music system blew up. That is the last time I play opera on it. Whoa, you're some kind of electrical whiz. But you're gonna need another record before you can spin the decks. And kablamo! <laughs> Oh, uh, that wasn't meant to happen. And now I shall bring her back. Shazam a blam! A record? Should I have used Shamaza Kazoo? Or maybe Krabakadabra? No, that's for making seafood appear. Oh, well, I'm sure she's somewhere safe.
crank it up to 11. Uh-oh. I think the rhythm just got me. Catch you later. Now, as far as the food go, I don't have any food. There we go. Is that uh, chicken? That's perfect. Could you put it up? Thanks. 30 seconds and these will be ready to eat. Would you like some chicken tartar? I'll pass. Do I smell food cooking? I think I do. Secret car washes? Get him! Chase, is it true you're a member of a criminal gang now? Yeah, that's right. I'm working for Chan Twang. <gasps> I can't believe you do that. I admired you, Chase. <laughs> it's not real, Frank. I'm undercover, remember? So I can find out where Rex is and arrest him? <laughs> yeah, I knew that. <laughs> you don't have to sign that. Good luck in your new job card anymore. Listen, Chan asked me to take a card from one of his rivals. He wasn't exactly a nice guy, but he should probably be compensated by the city. Do you think you can get that cleared by someone in charge? Sure, I can totally do that. I once gave a really important message from the mayor to the mayor. Oh, okay. I'm sending it over now. See you, Frank. Well, it's pretty beat up, but you're still doing better than my usual guy. Oh, by the way, guy. You're fired! I think you've proven your worth, which is good, because I need you to go to the office at my limo place. The burglar alarm has gone off. I would send Feng or Lee, but they're tied up at the moment. Which is why I told you not to play with skipping ropes during work hours! What about the old guy who works at your limo company? I had to fire him for being too familiar with me, which I regret, as he's my father. If you find anyone in there, I want you to deal with them. 
Do you understand? Yeah? Oh, and while you're in there, the people who employ my services value their privacy. So don't look at my records! I wouldn't dream of it. Alright. Where are you? What are they doing in there? Chan's men were after me. They kinda are. I'm undercover in his game. Why were you in his office? I'm trying to find my dad, Chase. What? Like in a filing cabinet? No, no. I mean that just before he disappeared, he was seen getting into a limousine. One of Chan's? I think so. But the only stuff I found in Chan's office were empty money bags from Papalardo's. Papalardo's? Yeah, the ice cream place with the trucks, you know. Yeah. I remember. So if Chan's working for Vinny Papalardo's game, is it Vinny that's working for Rex? Hey, where are you going? Chan must be keeping my dad somewhere else. Stop! It's too risky. I'll find your dad. It's the least I can do. I am not going to let you endanger my dad just so you can make up for the past. That's not why I want to help you. That'll be it for this episode. If you like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe, and have a nice day.